Well, folks, I think it's time to do another silver video again. It's been quite a while. I'm getting a lot of responses from my past videos that you can't eat silver during a shit hit the fan situation or, or if, the, if the economy collapses, you can't eat silver. But they never seem to say that about this. You can't eat dollars. I can make all the videos I want about saving this. And those naysayers will never have anything negative to say about this piece of garbage. They say during a shit hit the fan situation or economic collapse, this will be worthless. You can't eat this. i got to say they're about 1% true. And let me clarify that. During a shit hit the fan situation or market collapse or any time, type of crash for that matter, there's going to be the point of impact where everybody feels, feels the impact, feels the, the damage that the situation has caused. And for a few weeks until the market starts to correct itself, to repair itself, to heal itself, Yes, there's going to be a period of confusion. It's during that period of confusion that I'm going to probably have to agree. This might not be worth anything. The silver, as well as your silver, your gold, it might not be worth anything during that period of confusion. I can guarantee you this won't. Might, won't. Let me further explain myself. From the moment of impact, between the moment of impact, I want to say, and the time that the market starts to heal, yes, fuel, water, food, those types of tangible items will be far more valuable than gold or silver. But it's just a short period of time. The market will start to heal itself, to repair itself. People will need another form, another mechanism of trading, another, another monetary system. I can guarantee you they're not going to want to welcome this back. Gold and silver is probably where they'll, they will start at. After all, this is also in the Bible. This has a track record. I don't recall seeing dollar bills in the Bible. After the market starts to heal itself, gold and silver will become extremely valuable, in my opinion. It's kind of like... Um, car insurance from the moment of impact it doesn't matter what kind of insurance you'll have how good insurance that you have there'll be that point of confusion you're rushed off to the, the hospital and it's during that time of repair and healing where your body starts to fix itself and they hand you the bill is when the insurance and what type of insurance you have matters. And that's all a savings account is, isn't it? Is insurance. So for those naysayers, you're 1% right. It's during that point of impact, up until the point where the market starts to correct themselves itself, that money, such as gold and silver, might not be worth anything. That's just going to be a very short period, though. So yes, you folks are partially correct. I would definitely start stacking gold and silver. I want to tell you another reason why I stack gold and silver. I'm going to try to get the camera to focus on it. But the lower right portion of the coin, you might see it. I'm going to move the coin around a little bit says one dollar 
By the way, this is a silver eagle. One dollar. This also says one dollar. Both printed by United States Mint, our government. Both say one dollar. Yet there's a problem here. This one dollar, its value has depreciated over time. Its value is approximately 50 cents to 75 cents. I haven't taken a look at the silver or gold market today, but this silver eagle, although it's a dollar, its value is approximately $16 plus another two or three as a premium. One dollar worth 50 cents, one dollar worth 16 plus, one dollar worth 16 plus. So why would you save these? Why save these underneath your mattress or in your safe or in a savings account for that matter? Why save something and keep accumulating more of something that ultimately depreciates, goes down in value? It makes no sense. Why not instead save these, or gold for that matter, that does not depreciate in value, but only has increased in value. Now, a lot of you people are going to say, oh, it's fallen, it's fallen this time, and it's fell that time. <coughs> You're also, again, partially correct. And I can, let's say we go back to the 1940s, up until today. Price has fallen multiple times and it has increased over time. It started here and does one of these numbers. But if you were to take a snapshot of that entire time, its total trajectory is an upward path. Just like the stock market, it has dips too. And I took 1940 as a good example because I'm estimating in about 20 years or so as about the time I'll retire. Would I rather have this in saving, something that depreciates again, or something that will not depreciate? Why stack something that's fighting against you as far as acquiring wealth? With all the dips and rises from the 1940s up until now, this trajectory is still on an upward path. I can only theorize by its history that it's going to continue on an upper, upward path. I only keep enough of this in the bank account to pay my bills. I then pull it out, what is left over, it's used maybe to put gas in the car and whatnot. But the rest, if I have anything left over for savings, goes into silver. I would love to get gold. I own no gold. Maybe one day, just one day, I would love to own one pure gold coin. But up until then, I stack silver. Silver eagles. I would say for those people who are new to stacking, Start with silver eagles. As long as it's 0.999 or 0.9999, it really doesn't matter. For me, I love silver eagles. I would say about 60% of my stack is in silver eagles. I would say 20% of my stack is in maple leaves and various rounds. And the remaining 20% is in bars of various sizes. Um... But again, why save something that depreciates? Why not save something that increases in value? You folks have a great day. If there's any other questions, just leave them in the comments section. I appreciate a thumbs up as well. You have a great day.